Welcome to Tally University webinar. I am Doris. Uh, I work as a marketing senior specialist at Tally University. I have also graduated Tally University twice. At the moment, we are located here in Tallinn University in the main campus at Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School in their television studio. First of all, uh, I will show you one clip. Why should Tallinn University be your plan A? The whole world asks you, what kind of future do you see for yourself? I suggest you give them the best possible answer. Say your plan A is to get educated at Tallinn University. Professors with clear objectives, various internship opportunities, co-students from all over the world, modern subjects with a future perspective. Here we go. Plan A and Tallinn University. So, I hope you liked it. And now a few quick facts about Tallinn University as well. Tallinn University, as it is today, was established in 2005. So we are a rather young university, but actually the history of our university dates back. But in 2005, different units that were in Tallinn were named Tallinn University and merged into one. At the moment, we have about 8,000 students studying with us on BA, MA and PhD level among whom around 900 are foreign students. This 900 makes up of the degree students and exchange students. We have about 1,000 staff members here at Tallinn University, among whom 9.6% are foreign academics, which is one of the highest percentages in Estonian universities. We have about 350 partner universities, which means when you come to uh, study with us, you have a variety of universities to choose where you can go and study a semester or a year abroad. At the moment, we have eight academic units. Two of them are regional colleges that are located outside of Tallinn. Our university has a leading role in promoting and developing the intelligent lifestyle in Estonia. And as a result, all our resources and activities are in five broad focus fields. So all the teaching, resources, every research is done in those five broad focus fields, which are educational innovation, cultural competences, society and open governance, digital and media culture, and healthy and sustainable lifestyle. We are the third biggest public university in Estonia and where our main strengths lie on are in humanities and social sciences. Which is interesting about our university is that we have here the longest traditions of teacher training, yet the most modern film and media schools in the Baltics where we are located here at the moment while recording the webinar. Uh, we believe in individual approach to students. Our uh, study groups are rather small. Our students have always the possibility to approach to the lecturer, have a personal supervising. We believe in innovation and interdisciplinarity. Interdisciplinarity means co-work between different disciplines. Today, our facilities include everything a student needs. Modern leisure areas, study classes, computer classes. We have even our own gym and here uh, in the same building, even a cinema hall where our students could go and watch films for free. So altogether, uh, we have at Tallinn University more than 100 different study programs. But I'm going to only tell you about those that we have in English. So on bachelor's level, we offer audiovisual media here in Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School. Well, the students study how to make uh, clips, music videos, TV shows, etc. And where they study sometimes even here in the television studio. Also, at the Baltic Film Media Arts and Communication School, we offer cross media in film and television, where the students also study a bit of audiovisual media, business management, and then cross media itself. Additionally, to that, we have liberal arts in humanities and social sciences. Liberal arts, the idea is that the students can study different liberal arts in, in the field of humanities or social sciences. Additionally, we have law studies. They focus on international law and the studies are carried out here in Tallinn as daytime studies. 
So the students come to school on a day-by-day -day basis and in Helsinki as uh, cycle studies. Plus, on BA level, we have politics and governance, uh, where the students can choose from four modules two, which they study in depth. They can choose politics, governance, international relations, or economics and management. All the bachelor level programs last for three years and all the programs have a tuition fee. About the master's programs. All the master's programs last two years at Tallinn University and uh, in English we offer anthropology, communication management, the focus there is on intercultural communication, digital learning games, human computer interaction and international relations. Additionally to that, we have two joint master's programs uh, where we do not coordinate the admission process, but those two are film arts and adult education for social change. Plus, we have PhD level programs. Doctoral programs last for four years and they do not have a tuition fee. All the doctoral students also receive an allowance, approximately 400 euros per month. So on BHD level, we have analytical biochemistry, demography, ecology, educational sciences, government and politics, health, behavior and well-being, history, information society technologies, linguistics, physics, psychology, social work, sociology and studies of cultures. So, the admission requirements. So those are the admission requirements that apply only to the programs that we here at Tallinn University offer, not for the joint programs. First of all, what's the most important are the deadlines. The application process starts from 9th of January 2017. Uh, and lasts for non-EU and EE students, uh, except now applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia. It lasts until 15th of April 2017. For applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia, the deadline is 1st of June. For EU EEA citizens, the deadline is 1st of July and now the deadline for Finnish and Latvian citizens who have obtained a general secondary education in Finland or in Latvia for bachelor level programs, except audiovisual media, is 15th of August. So those are the deadlines our applicants need to keep in mind. What's the first step an applicant needs to do? You need to go and apply online at estonia.dreamapply.com. There you need to fill in the online application form. After that, you need to submit the first part of your admission exam. For example, you need to answer two motivational questions. Then you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. Some of the countries have country-specific requirements as well. So please go to tlu.ee slash country-specific to see what, if your country has a specific requirement. In case you cannot uh, submit all the necessary documents by the required deadline, uh, you can write to our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee and write to them. There are most certainly possibilities that you can send them us later as well, but still can apply. After that, you need to prove your English proficiency. All our applicants, uh, in order to apply, need to have the proficiency on B2 level. You can uh, prove your proficiency with we most well-known tests, as for example, Yelts or TOEFL. There are exceptions as well. For EU EEA citizens, the exceptions are made for applicants who have completed their previous studies fully in English. And a tested proof from the previous institution is required as well. For non-EU EA citizens, the exceptions are made for the applicants who have completed previous education fully in English in US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand or EU EA countries. And once again, a tested proof uh, from the educational institution is required. Then, 
you need to wait for an initial feedback from our admission specialists. If everything is okay, uh, you are asked to send your documents uh, to the university. So you will be asked to uh, send by post the copy of your secondary education certificate if you're applying to bachelor's studies, copy of bachelor's degree certificate for MA studies or master's degree certificate and transcript of records. Keep in mind that the translation uh, is requested if the documents are not in English and uh, both of the copies and tra translations need to be attested by a notary as well. After that, when you have sent your documents, you will be contacted regarding the date and the time of an interview. If everything is okay, hopefully it will be, you will be informed by the positive decision uh, via the online application system DreamApply. A few words about moving to Estonia as well. For uh, non-EU EA citizens, you need to have to have a temporary residence permit for study. Uh, you will be advised about the process by our, our admission specialists. For EU EEA students, uh, applicants, it's uh, much easier. You need to come here and register yourself as citizens of Tallinn within three months entering to Tallinn. You can go and read more at uh, www.politse.ee about moving to Estonia. And starting your studies. The studies start in the first week of September. And before that, the last week of August is the orientation week, where you will be given all the necessary information for starting your studies. A few words about the student life here as well. We have our own student union, under which there are a lot of different uh, units. For example, International Club, uh, which helps event, organizes events for international students, ESN Tallinn, that organizes events for exchange students, our own student TV that broadcasts the latest news and actually where they usually do that is here in our television studio. Culture club, sports clubs, photo club, our own uh, students cafe, cultural collectives like uh, symphony orchestra, choirs, we even have our own childcare here and Primus is the student union in Helsinki, so one is there as well. About the accommodation. Tallinn University has its own dormitory. The photos you see here are of Tallinn University dormitory. There are double rooms for the price of 150 euros. The Tallinn University dormitory is just around the corner of our main campus. There's another dormitory, G4S dormitory. There are double and single rooms for the price of 205 and 410 euros and Deco dormitory, where there are double and single rooms for the price of 150 and 300 euros. Of course, you always have the possibility to rent an apartment by yourself, with your friends, with your course mates, and like in every city, the prices vary a lot. If you would like to go and see more photos of our dormitories, you can go to tlu.ee slash housing. Cost of living in Tallinn. Our students say that they can handle approximately with 300 up to 500 euros per month. That does not include the accommodation. Here are also a few examples of the prices. Student meals, three up to seven euros. Public transportation is actually free of charge in Tallinn for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets, 12 to 18. Concert tickets, 8 to 30. Movie tickets, 4 to, uh, four to 8. And private sports clubs. 30 to 70 euros per month, but we have even our own gym here, so you can go and have your training there as well. A lot of our applicants ask if they can work during the, their studies. The answer is yes, you can work, but it cannot interfere your studies. You still must complete required credit points. You can stay in the country uh, six months after uh, graduating to look for a job. When you come to Tallinn, to Tallinn University, where you can uh, start finding uh, a good job for you or getting some uh, counselling, is our Tallinn University Career and Counselling Centre. They are more than happy to help you. Uh, if you would uh, like to read more about working in Estonia, you can go to workinestonia.com. A uh, few words about our short courses as well. Uh, we have here Tallinn Summer and Winter School. 
Uh, they are short courses, last for a week, up to three weeks. The summer school is in July. Uh, in 2017 from 10th to 28th of July. The winter school already in January, 9th to 27th of January. During the summer school, we have here about 300 participants. During winter school, much less, 40 or so. And every time, about 85% are international participants. Uh, during uh, the summer school, we have a lot more courses, 20 or so. During winter school, about five different courses. The courses are in different fields. There are language courses, IT courses, creative courses and so on. And additional to the courses, we offer also uh, a cultural program to the participants, where our students uh, can go to museums or field trips outside of Tallinn. If you're interested in the short courses, you can go and visit summerschool.tlu.e or winterschool.tlu.e and read more. Our main campus. Our main campus is located right in the heart of the city centre. Uh, the harbour is just five minutes walk away, the, the bus station is close by, the airport is close by, and the old town that belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage is about 10 minutes walk away. So everything is nearby. Our campuses, all the names have Latin names that represent certain values on, uh, to the university. Terra, which is the oldest building uh, that used to be the main building of Tallinn University, means the earth represents academic traditions. There's the ceremonial hall and all the central services like my office and academic affairs office. Astra is the newest addition to Tallinn University. Astra, the stars, represents achieving your goals. In Astra, there are different laboratories. Silva, also known as the language building. Silva means the forest represents researchers. Nova, we are located in the Nova building at the moment. Nova means new and represents innovation. So it's the right name for Baltic Film, Media, Arts and Communication School. Ursa, a bear, represents defending your ideas. In Ursa, they study fine arts. And Mare, the sea, represents openness. There are different lecture halls and institutes. In case you would like to uh, have a better look uh, of our campus virtually, you can go to virtualtour.tlu.ee and go and have a look around in our campus. In case you have any questions to our students or alumni, you can go to tlu.ee slash ambassadors. Uh, Almost each, uh, every English-based program has their own ambassador there and there are the ambassador's contacts, their emails. Feel free to write to them if you want to know more about some study program, life in Tallinn, about Tallinn University or Estonia overall. They are more than happy to answer to your questions. Last but not least, follow us in social media as well to keep up with our doings. In Facebook you can find us when you type in Tallinn University. Meanwhile, when you have any questions regarding the admission process, feel free to write to our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee. But as, as, uh, as long as the admission process is not open, you can go to our webpage, read more about the programs, about Tallinn University and look around there at tlu.ee. From my side, Thank you. Thank you that you found time and participated at the webinar. I hope you got some useful information and see you in Tallinn.